district. Colcott takes it up to 10 metres away from the Whitehaven line with almost 10 minutes gone. All the pressure is Halifax is at the moment, but still unable to post any points again. They're over the line, but held up again. They'll come back to the 10 meter line to play the ball. Woodburn Hall. Zach McComb bounces away from one. Drops the shoulder, tries to find a gap for himself in the Avon line. Succeeds in carrying it over halfway. Connor McGrath. Well, didn't take the ball at speed and didn't get a chance to get up to full speed. Brandon Moore has though. Brandon Moore ripping through the Haven defence again. Last tackle. Can Halifax come back with something, something for the pressure this time? Great short ball. Kavanagh. Ruled out by the uh, touch judge and referee and looking for the quick play of the ball. And Halifax defenders still coming back in numbers on that far left-hand side. Whitehaven not out of tackles yet as they continue to press on this Halifax line. Jufrey gets the ball to Walmsley. Walmsley gets the ball to the Colton comes inside and flattens Mosser. Jufrey looking to set the Halifax forward pass uh, Graham holds his hand up because I don't believe it but he better do because everybody saw that one Williams again gets it out to Walmsley Walmsley well watched by the Halifax defence last tackle across from Williams and Gillam almost got it but Halifax had just to have been holding back Gillam although Gillam got up to the ball and almost got hands on it well one was taking a long time looking at the post Williams to Bled Riley. Riley, one arm pass out the back, and there could be an advantage, but the ball comes back into centre field with Chris Taylor, and he's put down on the 40 metre line. Substitution. 29, Dean Zabit, on for number eight, Mark Shackley. And again, crossed him. He's going to have to turn inside. another potential two points for Whitehaven on the 30 metre line. But Whitehaven's last two weeks has shown them to be uh, no easy poxy overs now. <laughs> Warms let makes it Whitehaven for Halifax Mill with his second so penalty. Number two, Lachlan Walmsley. Well, Liam Harris to restart, and that one. Oh, put his foot on the line. Halifax are going to get drop out from under the post. Well, no doubt that uh, despite Williams' complaint that he's had his foot on the line, there's no doubt that he jumped, caught the ball, and then came down on the line. Halifax looking for the first points of the game. Almost away, loses the ball. They're trying to claim it was pulled out, but well, I could try to make a pass. Just trying to calm the situation down there. The referee that had been developing after the ball was lost. 
Kevin Laraya is off to the sim bin for 10 minutes. Whitehaven showing uh, dogged determination in defence. Then there was an attempt to steal there, which uh, Halifax will get a penalty for, but they need to get a, a move on as we're into the last minute. That's a good kick by Harris. Went behind to win this last week, runs behind to Whitehaven this week. Can they uh, conjure something up in the last 38 seconds of the first half? Crick switches the point of attack, goes on his own. Caught by three. Picking the ball up, and he obviously saw that the uh, defence was uh, a little bit tired. And there's somebody in the in goal area. Uh, exchanging words with Simon Goods, one of the Whitehaven defenders. Quest going on in the middle of the field with Halifax players. They've had the opportunities and they've been over the line three or four times, but not able to get the ball down. So the signs are there for Halifax. Unfortunately, the second 40 minutes for the points to be there. And that conversion to uh, Davis has tried. So Liam Harris puts Halifax into the first time in the first half. A long time coming by Halifax. I've taken the lead. It's Halifax six, Whitehaven four. David is at in half. It's uh, Zach McCool who makes for me as Harris across the line. Then goes to the dummy. Has to pop from the lawyer. And oh, the lawyer's giving the ball away. Incredible he had. Fairbank on the other side of him. Tunis now with Whitehaven, 12 metres out from Halifax line. Newton done it half, feeds to Williams. Williams will look for Jufre. Jufre to Wormsley and Croston. Has he got the strength to get over? Well, he might have done had there not been for Halifax defenders there. Halifax defending for their lives. Liam Cook protects the long pass. We tackle in the bag white haven and Jufre and Warms are coming across to this side of the field. Jufre kicks through but won't be able to uh, capitalise and catch his own kick through. Again, they test that right on defensive Halifax and Jufre is caught this time a metre away from the line. It's the last tackle. So the oh, here we go. And Liam Harry with the interception might not go the full way. But Halifax will get a penalty out of it from Williams with a high tackle on retreat. He just lost himself on Halifax to uh, stand off. <laughs> Elliot Morris. We'll see you later to Liam Cooper left him on the floor. Cooper coming back for a second attempt, missing the legs. Eventually, Morris goes down and Ellis Gillard. 
Scoreboard over, it means Halifax will get possession back from the kickoff. Oh, Halifax clinging on, but giving White here and every opportunity to get back into this game. Oh, that's a big hit by Ben Kavanagh. And that's turning motivation and positive action as well. Look for a bit more of that. to Williams, Williams fancy it on his own and Halifax there again, Williams almost on the Halifax try line and again a play from dummy half which Halifax don't fall for but he's put pressure on and the knock on and Gatter launching himself to the Whitehaven defensive line brought down 9 metres away Two defenders. Look at all to Murray. Murray up. Fall into the tackle. Couldn't get back up. Last tackle. Bad pass again. Halifax managed to recover it. Garside will chase his way.